Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. This is our online cloud-based program that's free from Brother. Um, this is how you go about logging in. Okay, if you already have an account or if you don't have an account, sign up here. Here's a help PDF. Um, and then on our Facebook page, we have a ton of information for you there if you head over there. Um, and then there's also news and release notes and more down here. So when you log in, it will bring you to a page that has a lot of really cool projects on it that you can go right to and do. Um, it also, again, has the help, has your ability to go to my projects here and your to be able to log out. So there's your My Projects tab. This is all of the different things that you can do um, that they've already pre-done for you, made the file up. Um, again, there's the news and release notes right there. Let's head to the Canvas project because in this tutorial what I want to do is show you first how to sign in and find all that information and then how to um, trace in an image which is the JPEGs, the GIFs, the TIFFs and some others um, and then your SVG imports which is SVGs, DXFs and FCMs. Okay let's go to the image tracing. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna come and find my file. Okay and do the JPEGs. Alright let's come down here and let's try this softball and this will be the outline okay so it looks okay but hit preview and watch what happens see that nasty little line right there and only that much of it is actually copied I do not want that so I'm going to come over here to color remove background and take it down to two and let's see what we get perfect okay so with this one, to get that outline, I actually had to come to the color. So let's choose Remove Background and preview what that looks like. Sometimes you kind of have to monkey around with all this stuff to get it to work right. Okay, and as you see, the outline disappeared. So I'm going to have to unclick Remove Background, and I know that's going to work beforehand. And we'll bring it in here. And there it is. So that's how you go about importing a JPEG file. Okay. Let's see. The JPEGs, the GIFs, the PNGs, and the BMP files. That's what you use the leaf that is half in water. Okay. Now to import an SVG, FCM, or DXF, you click that button. And let's head on over to my FCM files. And we'll pull in my little owl that I made up. okay and click OK alright so there it is okay so now to save them let's just say you have the owl and you want to take that to your stick come up here and put in a project title so that you don't have um, it'll automatically put in like a bunch of numbers and that's kinda hard to find when you're looking for it on your stick when it's stuck in your machine so always try to use the project title. So click download. I put my cursor over that and I right click. Save link as. Okay, so that will bring up that file. But I don't want to save it in there. I want to save it to my stick. So I come over here to computer. Removable disk. I know that that is actually my stick. Oh, and there's all kinds of stuff on there already. So I can see that it's save as file type FCM and it has the name so you can go ahead and click save and that will save it right onto your stick for you okay guys so that's how you go about importing um, excuse me all different kinds of file types into canvas um, I do have another uh, tutorial that tells you what all of these buttons and tabs all of this stuff does so you may want to go take a look at that too because then it'll show you how to use all this stuff and move it around alright guys have a great night